Equipment on our dogs. When dogs are coming into our classes, we would like them to just be wearing a standard buckle collar in our classes. Um, and a good fit with a buckle collar would be a two fingers underneath the collar. It should be snug, but it shouldn't be so loose it just falls off the dog and it shouldn't be um, restricting any breathing. So two, maybe three fingers under that collar is a good fit. When we're talking about a gentle leader in class, gentle leaders can be very helpful, a very helpful training aid um, in aiding in calm behavior or walking exercises. There is a neck strap back here. We should only be able to get one finger under that strap for a proper fit and it should be fitting up high right behind the ears. Oftentimes when I'm asking students about their gentle leader, I will ask the student, how many fingers can you get under that um, strap? Um, and they will put their fingers under there and oftentimes you can get three or four of them. And so then we can um, either help them snug that up or we can um, tell them how to snug that up. The nose loop should fit on their muzzle and this should slide freely down, up and down their muzzle. It should stop right where the leather of the nose starts. That's when you know you have a, a good fit. Um, this can be adjusted by adjusting this clip here where their leash is clipping on there. If we um, loosen that a little bit, it'll slide more. If we you know, bring that up and snug that up, that will tighten up for them. Our Freedom No Pull Harness should have a, a snug fit. I notice I can get my hand under there, but it's not sliding all around the, uh, the dog. The straps should be perpendicular to each other. Um, their chest strap should fit high up on their shoulders. And again, everywhere around this harness, I can get my full hand through it, but it doesn't easily move around on the dog. When holding a leash for a dog, it's often helpful if we coach students how to hold that leash correctly. And I will have them put their hand through that um, loop, and I will have them just hang on to the leash like that. Um, and while still maintaining the J or a happy leash while they're practicing their skills. Um, of, try to coach owners away from wrapping their leashes around their hands. If they need that extra security, we can have them put their um, leash around their finger like so to create a finger lock. Now, all they have to do is grip onto that leash handle like that, it turns it into a handle. And then that gives you extra security versus when they wrap that leash around there, when that gets pulled, it tends to pull the owner along with it. So this is a finger lock and it's a very effective way to get a little extra security um, when handling the leash. When a dog pulls on the leash, it's hard for us to get that treat to them. It's hard to turn, they're out ahead of us, They've lunged forward. We can walk up that leash hand over hand so that we're in a position to get a treat onto that dog's nose. We might be able to lure them back to us to get their attention back to us to um, restart that training exercise or just to simply redirect their attention. When students have dogs that pull very hard, well, it's important to have them in the right equipment, but it's important also with that leash handling. Again, I'm using my finger lock dog is trying to pull. I have set my feet out around shoulder length apart. I even lean backwards to get my weight on my back foot and I keep my leash hand close to my waist and if I need to I can even put my other hand over that to give me some extra security so that dog can't just pull me ahead. Now if I now I'm in a position where if I need to walk up that leash I can quickly get up to that dog and get a uh, treat on their nose redirect them. Please refer to our handouts on um, our equipment guides. We have pros and cons to each piece of equipment that we recommend or uh, for equipment that question, or clients or students might have questions about. We also have handouts on how to help um, students acclimate their dogs to equipment such as gentle leader guides, we have muzzle desensitization guides, um, and fitting guides. 
Students might also have concerns about using a gentle leader and never being able to stop using a gentle leader. Well, we do have handouts on how to fade equipment as well.